Hey everybody, Scott Burnett here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. Good to see everybody out there today. I don't know why I say that because I can't see you, but uh, we're here at the workbench. Um, it's got a little bad weather outside today and it's extremely hot here in Northwest Georgia. So I thought I would uh, do another GoPro video. And here's my GoPro Hero 8 and I'm going to put some shameless plugs out there for it. If Somewhere up here above my head, a card will pop up. Uh, I have an unboxing video and a, and a review of the camera. It's a neat little camera. It really is. But today, GoPro, well, yesterday, yesterday, GoPro put out a new software for the camera. And, and all these devices have software called firmware. And uh, that's what runs the device and uh, they have a beta firmware that allows you to use this GoPro Hero 8, only the 8, as a webcam. You know, so you can have it set up behind the, the monitor or over here or whatever. Because most webcams, I don't have one on this computer, my work computer's over there. Um, most webcams are just horrible. And real grainy and um, looking at the screen and you see they look like they're underwater or or um, just the, the image is horrible it's it's not a good thing I mean it, it really helps out to have a good image well this is supposed to do that now I have not done this yet so we're gonna we're gonna work through it here I'm gonna pull you down on the computer and we're gonna we're gonna do this uh, one thing about it Right now, it only works on the Macintosh computer. Uh, the Windows stuff is in development. Uh, it shouldn't be long before it happens. But uh, I just thought this was a neat thing, and a lot of people work from home, and a lot of people have GoPros. So uh, we'll try it here and see what we can do. So y'all stay with us. So the things that we're going to need today for this, we need a Macintosh computer. That's a given. Um, we're going to need the camera. We're going to need the SD card out of the camera. And luckily enough, the, the door comes off so I can do this. Uh, we need a SD card reader right here. So that one of those. And there'll be links to every one of these things in the description. But, uh, and my, my hands are really big, so it's really hard for me to get this card out. I don't know why they did this, but they did. And we need a USB-C cable. This guy right here. This is a USB-A to USB-C. And this is a Brady cable, but you don't need it. The uh, charging cable that comes with the camera, is, it works just fine. Um, so anyway, I'm going to pull you right down to the screen here and we'll, uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so I'm recording, so I will go here and just go to my browser and go GoPro Beta Firmware. This is from GoPro Labs. And we'll find the link to it. And that's not it. Okay, here are the instructions from the GoPro Support Hub, and I'll, there'll be a link to this in the description. So I want to go download the GoPro Webcam Beta Firmware. Allow it. Okay. 
I'm going to follow the instructions. So I'm going to insert my little uh, micro SD card in the reader, like such. And we'll plug it into my, my computer. Again, I'm going to follow the instructions here. Okay, it says to transfer the update file to your micro SD card. So I'm going to go to my downloads. I'm going to copy the update. And I'm just going to paste it here in the Now it says double click on and everything and it'll create the update folder, but I'm, I think I did. I think I did it right. Because there's the camera firmware bin, the data bin, and the text file. So, all right, so now I want to eject the SD card. lay it right here all right now i want to go download the gopro webcam desktop utility and there it is okay i'll go ahead and run it All right, so now I have to restart the computer to let all this take effect. So um, I'll go away, restart the computer, come back, and then restart my screen recording. All right, we're back. We're recording, and I hope we are. Maybe. I'm recording the screen right now anyway. So I need to put the SD card back, the micro SD card back in the camera. I always hate doing this because it's really hard to get back in there. All right, I need a battery. Got a battery. And right now I'm gonna leave the door off of it and I'm gonna turn it on. And it's got a little symbol there. Turn it around this way. It's got a little symbol showing that the, uh, but I hope the firmware is updating. Says one of two. I don't think I had to put it. Now it says it will beep and turn itself off and on several times. The check mark on the front screen will let you know when it's done. There's the little check mark. Set update complete on the back. Okay. All right, so it says power on the camera, connect it to your computer via the USB cable. So I will do that. And I'll just string the cable up across from my computer right now.
in USB-C it doesn't matter what orientation all right it's showing the USB icon good deal all right the GoPro icon up here if you look at my screen shows a blue dot to indicate a successful connection I'm right, we'll click on that go to preferences set on 1080 now what this does it will only use the camera it does not use the microphone so you have to have an external microphone so you got to remember that I'm going to show the preview I want to allow it and there there I am in the in the video and it's got webcam up here and on the back can't get it turned can't get it turned it says webcam on the back and the front with the time and the battery which it's charging right now so uh, they do have one button on here on the preview that you can flip the orientation and now I look like I'm right-handed so there we go and I probably need I probably got fingerprints and stuff on here but it gives you a 1080 30 1080 30 frames per second wide aspect ratio uh, that's the only one they have right now you can switch it to 720 but why would you want to do that uh, another thing this does work with and let me let me pull my notes up zoom skype microsoft teams google meet uh quicktime obs facebook and uh, youtube live so it does work with all that so if i were to pull up um, google chrome pull up my google meet i don't want to stay up to date let me move this preview out of the way so i have and you can see on my screen i have my microphone and speakers but here's my video gopro webcam right there so i believe i hope you can see me right now so i believe this will work just fine but i will have to have my microphone on which that's not a problem uh pretty cool pretty cool and i was able to do it anyway uh staff meeting monday uh tomorrow will be hopefully a little better so all right let me turn you around here so anyway if you like this video give me a thumbs up hit that subscribe button hit that little bell to be notified uh right now which is this is the cool part this is let me uh let me pull my channel up right now i'm at 204 subscribers i passed the 200 mark which is just awesome i'm just tickled to death about it uh if you're not subscribed hit that little subscription down there it doesn't cost you a dime and uh, we'd love to have you on board i'd love to be able to show you some of this stuff i'm doing uh it's it's really fun and i'm enjoying it and i did something to my computer to go make it go nuts but uh yeah i'm at 204 and uh, love to get those numbers up and uh, it'd be great there's gonna be links to everything in the description and uh i got another video here in the office i'm gonna be doing or uh, fixing my office chair i sat down in my office chair one day last week and it just kept going down and i'm I don't know if it's my weight or the cylinder. I'm, I don't know. 
But I hope everybody's doing great. I hope everybody's having a great weekend. Um, it's just, it's been a good weekend for me. So I hope this helps somebody and I hope you try it. And if you've tried it, let me know in the, in the comments if you've tried this or you want to try it. And another thing, um, iPad OS 14 beta, public beta is out. If you have installed that, let me know how you're doing. I have the 2015 9.7 iPad Pro, which is still a great device. I better be careful, but it's running pretty good. Running pretty good. Well, I think that's it. Um, yep, I think that's it. Until the next video, I appreciate everybody, and uh, thanks for watching.